Boardwalk games are quintessential Jersey experience. The bells and whistles, the rows of plush toys, the seemingly simple tasks. But if you've ever found yourself plunking down a chunk of change, trying to get a ball in a hoop, or grab a toy with a mechanical claw, then you've had the same sneaking suspicion we've all had. Are these games rigged? Um, yeah, you think so? Yeah, I'm, I, without a doubt. The prizes are too heavy for the claw. Yeah, like this, we've been at this we've, game for We've been playing all day. Well, you know, you always think in the back of your head, is this rigged? Are the are the toys weighted? Is it really going to work? But you know what? You just give it a shot or two, and then you never know. You can win. Enter investigators from a little-known unit at the state's Division of Consumer Affairs. Is this the first time you were inspected this year? Yeah. These guys are from the Legalized Games of Chance Control Commission. It's their job to keep game operators honest. Whether it's conveniently askew basketball hoops or darts with dull tips, investigators have seen it all. We've seen bushel basket games, which is a softball that has to be thrown into a tub. Operators may put a tennis ball or a doorstop behind the bushel basket, making the back of it springy so that the ball cannot actually stay inside of the tub. It's a, profit, you know, it's a for profit business and they expect to make some money on it, but uh, by the same token, there has to be that ability to possibly win. You, you just can't rig it so that they can't win the thing. That's the Most of the time, violations aren't so blatant. Maybe an operator holds on to change and lets you play another round. Or the prizes promised aren't actually available. This car lost its fin. Okay. It's required to have its fin here. All right. Okay, so I'm going to put that one here. Well-established, family-friendly boardwalks, like this one in Point Pleasant, are more in compliance than you might think. But for a longtime investigator, a violation sticks out like a sore thumb. The investigator went up earlier and he found that several of the rims were not level. And that gives an unfair disadvantage to a player. Yeah, that was pretty egregious, that basket. Just walk, visually by walking by, you could see that it wasn't level. Yeah. So let's look at one of the most common games, the claw. Investigators are particularly vigilant about these games because there are so many ways the player can be disadvantaged. They tested this machine, which offered tantalizing prizes, like iPads and Blackberries. When Bill Walters first tried playing the game normally, he found it too difficult. So he forced it. He'll take that prize and physically put it in the claw to see if the claw is strong enough to hold it. It wasn't. One problem is that the claw has smooth metal tips, trying to grasp a hard plastic case. It wasn't working. Even the game's operator wasn't able to force the claw to hold the box. It appears, other than for some lucky catch of a piece of metal or something like that, this would be very, very difficult percentage-wise to win. I think you guys should take a look at that one. I just spent like 50 bucks on that one. <laughs> no exaggeration. Seriously. Been playing all day. <laughs> Picked it up like 40 times.